Hey, I'm Alex Farnham, and this is Animalist News. I'm here at Bloomberg in New York with Paul Barrett, senior writer for Bloomberg Business Week. Paul, why are Dotsons being discriminated at Westminster? Well, I think uh, people think of the, uh, the elegant and regal Dachshund as a funny dog, a wiener dog, a hot dog dog, and as a result, it just doesn't get the respect that it deserves. Can you tell me some reasons why Dotsons would be considered for best in show? I, I think, you know, the, the way to look at this uh, historic bigotry is just to look at the numbers, first of all. I mean, when the, when the Westminster show was first set up for the first five years, Terriers won best in show five years in a row. So I think you saw the pattern there. If you look at the statistics over a century, uh, and you look at uh, combined just the Terriers and the Spaniels, more than half of the best in show prizes have gone to just those two breeds out of almost 200 different breeds. So obviously there's a type of dog that the people who put this show on prefer. And my, uh, my brief is that they should just broaden their horizons. So what are Dotsons bred for? Uh, the badger would be literally sent down into uh, the lair, which is why they were bred in that dis very distinctive torpedo-like shape. You can think of them as subterranean torpedoes. They're, right. They go down underground, they can fold their front paws in against their body, the back paws churn, and they have, they have very fierce uh, 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 teeth and presentation, and they scare that badger right out of the hole, where of course the hunter would then blow his head off. It's more like, you know, badgers don't give a shit. No, the dachshund, does, they don't give a shit. Exactly, no, no, and I'm, I'm glad to hear you use that salty language, because I think that's very appropriate to the spirit of the dachshund. Yeah, definitely. Um, but also is very lovable and very charming, and uh, I think people should just broaden, broaden their, their view of the canine in this way. Right. Um, yeah, you own a dachshund, right? I do, but of course that doesn't shape my, my perspective on this at all. My views on this are purely objective. Mm -hmm. And w uh, what about the other, the other dogs, the other breeds of dogs? I'm really not interested in the other breeds of dogs. Yeah. Only the dachshund is, is, is my concern. I think people really need to focus on the dachshund as the king of dogs. So on behalf of all the dachshunds, what would you like Westminster to know? On the one hand, it, I think it would be suitable for the, the dachshund to be recognized now after more than a century. On the other hand, we really couldn't give a damn, and we're doing just fine without them. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I'm guessing in the near future, I'm sure a dachshund will be, you know, best in show, but it, they don't. Yeah, whatever. Well, Paul, thanks for giving us your time, and this was very insightful for us here at Animalist News. And Anytime you want to talk about dachshunds, you come on back. I, I will definitely will. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Happen here. Yeah, and I even have a shower for you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, Judy, where are we now? Okay, we're now in the grooming room. Of course, you need your towel to dry off from your bathtub. Definitely. You want the hair dryer? Yes. Okay. Give me the hair dryer.